While it is common knowledge that countries like Uganda suffer high unemployment rates, the actual statistics show that the problem is much bigger than most people can imagine. Out of the country's estimated population of 42 million people, 80% of whom are below 30 years of age, only 10,000 jobs are available annually for an estimated 400,000 graduates churned of training institutions every year. Over the years, many initiatives have been launched to try and combat the unemployment problem, but many of them have failed or had little success. The country's education system has often been singled out as one of the reasons why many school leavers do not meet the demands of the job market. How does education transition with society? Education cannot act in isolation. Whereas this narrative may hold some truth, it does not tell the whole story. Which university teaches skills? I have had the opportunity to study abroad. I did not leave with skills. I left with knowledge. Primary role of universities is to impart knowledge. Fostering holistic approaches to education have now become a common aspect of many discussions on improving employability. Ministry of Education has this component in its teaching manual built on three domains. The cognitive domain, which is about training of the brain. Psychomotor has to do with physical exercise. And the affective domain deals with the social environment. Mindset. How do we change the mindset and the attitude of our people to embrace these genetic skills of the 21st century? The skilled manpower is yet another issue. Because we went, if you went to our schools and institutions, you will find that in some institutions we really lack the manpower to carry on this kind of training. Now, experts from cross-cutting fields have built consensus on widening of internship training programs as well as improving employability. In other countries you see it's legislated, it's a law that you must create internship as a private sector. You must take a certain percentage of your employees are going to be that. So how can we work with the private sector to say, even though it's not in the law, how can we work together to do the right thing, to create these opportunities? In the current ecosystem, there is no incentive for creating jobs. There is no incentive. Nobody gets credit in Uganda for creating a job and giving it to somebody. There is another element of exposing teachers to the world of work. I can tell you, it is extremely very important that if a teacher is teaching about agro-processing technology, the guy has entered the Mukwano factory. The private players came together under the auspices of Stanbic Bank that is providing similar incubation programs. Jackson Onyango, NTV. That, that value, you don't need a lot of resources to create value. Start with what you have. 